Om and a pleasant morning to you all. You had promised the energy level as 100. Isn't it? But I could hear only about 5 to 10 decibels of sound. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes! Great. Let me first go gratitude to all the team members of Nammanada of Buddha which has taken the challenge of developing the community through various programs which ultimately benefit you all who are present here. And let me congratulate Mr. Samia and his team for taking up this initiative. And I am sure this will definitely benefit every one of you. It all depends on how you take it up. So once again, are you ready for the transformation? Yes. Are you ready for the transformation? Yes. Are you ready for the transformation? Yes. All right. Great. For the last you want me to stand here or you want me to go to the stage? For the last one and a half years, you had online classes. Yes? yes. Enjoyed the online classes? Yes. Which is better, online or offline? Online. So you have learned something, at least even this online class durations also, right? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now onwards we need to be ready for the blended mode, offline as well as online. online. Now this pandemic has created a lot of transformations. For some it has been beneficial and for some it was a Christmas. But, you know, Allah has mentioned in Quran, Fainna Magal Yusra After every difficulty, there will be a relief. So we are passing this difficult situation. But you should never lose hope with the Creator. The moment you start losing hope and start losing the Creator, from that moment onwards, blessings that has been shown by Allah may be cut. So even in this difficult situation, let us be mentally prepared and let us hope for the best that everything will become normal soon and you all will enjoy the benefits. Let me tell you a short story about a king and a minister. Who is this king? How do you say if it is Akbar? If it is Akbar, then who is this? Okay. Now let us see the story. Once the king was playing with the sword in his courtyard and as he was playing with the sword, a small part of the finger got damaged. And the minister who was present there, he said, very good. But the minister said, very good. So king got annoyed, he got angry. Injury has happened and the minister says, very good. He got upset. So he called his army men and directed the army men to put this minister behind the bars. That means to the jail. So he was in the jail and for the wound to heal, it took three months for the wound to heal. But a small part of the finger has to be cut. It cannot be joined. It was a major damage created to the finger. So there was no option for it to get joined. Okay. So after 
three months as I told you, the wound was healed. So one day he decided to go for hunting to the forest. So he went alone with his horse deep into the forest. And as he went deep into the forest, these tribals fought him. They did not know that he was king. Even if they knew that he was king for them, it is nothing to do. So they caught him and they decided that the king, this person's life has to be sacrificed to their goddess. So they decided that the king's life will be given as a sacrifice to their goddess. That means he is going to be killed now. But there is a condition. If they want to give his life as a sacrifice to the goddess, they have to examine each and every part of his body. And on examination, what they found? Small part of the finger is missing. Then what they said? Since the small part of the finger is missing, we cannot give his life as sacrifice to our goddess as they left it. And this king directly went to the jail where the minister is behind the bars. And he explained, this is what has happened in the forest. And the minister said, yes, I said everything happens for good. Because of that small incident which has happened, he has lost his finger. Today he has saved his life. And the king asked the minister, you say everything happens for the good. But you are in this jail struggling here for the last three months. Do you consider this also to be good? And the minister said, yes my lord, even that is for good. And the king did not understand. What is he saying? He is struggling here and he says that this is for good. Then he asked the minister, why do you say that it is good? And the minister said, if I was not in this jail, I would have accompanied you to the forest. And tribals would have caught both of us. They have left you because you have small part of the finger is missed. But for me, everything is intact and I would have been killed. So everything happens in our life is also for good. We have to consider like that. Everything happens with the calculations of the Allah, nothing else. Do you agree? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So now, don't get repentant, don't think about pandemic, don't think about the financial things that has lost. Start a new beginning. So everything happens for good and after every difficulty there will be a relief. Remember that. Today, we have gathered here to sharpen our mind. Have you seen your mind? Have you seen your brain? No? Have you seen others brain? Yes. Others brain? Yes. Have you seen? Yes. How many have you seen? The real brain brain's brain. Not your, your brain you can't see. Others brain, how many of you have seen? At least in the museum you might have seen. Okay, at least the picture of the brain you have seen? How many of you have seen? Raise your Okay, everyone. You have not seen the picture of the brain? You have raise hand, respond. Okay. Have you seen your mind? How many of you have seen your mind? Raise your hand. Nobody. How do you know then whether the mind exists or not? Okay. Have you experienced happiness in your life? Everyone? Yes. Have you experienced the sadness in your life? Yes. At some point of time you might have experienced tiredness. Yes. At some other point of time you are energetic. Yes. Sometimes you are motivated. Sometimes you are demotivated, isn't it? Yes. So these are all different states of mind. Mind behaves in different ways in different circumstances. The reason is, mind is controlling you. Who is controlling you? Mind. Who is the owner of your mind? <laughs> Allah has given you a powerful mind. Now, who is the owner of your mind? You are the owner of your mind. Isn't it? So, who should control your mind? You should control. That's what I am going to tell you in the next one hour. This is a very vast subject. Maybe for years if you learn also, you will never get exhausted. But I am giving you like a capsule, water, all very, very important for you at this level. Okay. Do you have 
any subjects that you experience difficulty? Which one? Science. Huh? Science. Science. Mathematics. Majority will say mathematics. Okay, how many of you find mathematics difficult? Raise your hands. Okay. Be, be sincere. There are no marks for this. Only when we realize the problems, we can solve it. Do not hide it. How many of you find science difficult? Okay. How many of you find science easy? How many of you find mathematics easy? Okay, see there are people. Some find mathematics difficult, some find mathematics easy. Now let us see what is the problem in this. And I will give you certain tips here because the topic is not about studying today, the topic is something else, but in between, if it is relevant, I will just connect it to the studies also. How to make the subjects easier? Now, many of you said mathematics is difficult. Why it has become difficult also, we will analyze. Sometimes you study well and go to the exam hall. Correct? And in the exam hall, sometimes you become blank. Whatever you do, you will not remember. And then after the duration of the exam is over, you come out of the exam hall. And evening when you talk with your friends or when you drink a cup of coffee or when you take bath, you will remember suddenly what you had forgotten in the exam hall. How many of you experienced this? Raise your hands. Okay. All this can be corrected by believing in the powers which is hidden in your Now, kindly take care of this. Uh, if you have mobiles, kindly put it in the silent mode or switch it off. Okay, let it not affect the flow of the sessions. Now, you have a powerful brain. What do you have? A powerful brain. You have two things which are extremely powerful. What are those? One is? Brain. 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 Other one is? Mind. Both are extremely powerful. Now, what is the food that is required to your brain? It doesn't require biryanis or ice creams or chicken, nothing. So, what your brain requires? Now, you know, you might have heard about the neurons. Brain cells are called as neurons. neurons. So, how to energize our neurons? That is, you have to give some food. So, what food the neurons want to have? They would like to have only two things. What is that? Blood and oxygen. So, what is the food for the brain? Blood and oxygen. So, how you have to supply blood and oxygen to your brain? It's very simple. You don't have to go to hospitals or a medical store asking for blood and oxygen to be supplied to the brain. Can you give drips into the brain directly? No. That is the end of your life. You can give it here, but not to your brain. Then, how to supply this blood and oxygen to your brain? Would you like to try this now? In just 30 seconds? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, you have to sit straight. Sit straight with your spine perpendicular to your thigh. Don't measure it with the protractors, whether it is 90 degree or not, approximately is sufficient. Okay. And keep your hands on your thigh. Let the legs be flat on the floor. And Place your tongue touching the upper part, upside. And you have to close your mouth. Okay, now what you have to do is, you have to take a deep breath, very, 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 very slowly. And as you inhale, you have to say in your mind, your mouth is locked, mouth is closed, don't disturb the mouth. Tongue is also locked. So you have to say in your mind, I am supplying blood and oxygen to my brain to energize the neurons. What do you have to say? I am supplying blood and oxygen to my brain. Not to the mind. To my mind I will come later. To the brain. Why? To energize the neurons. Repeat. What you will say while inhaling? I am supplying blood and oxygen to my brain to energize the Neurons. Neurons are brain cells. Why they say it? Nothing. Just stay relaxed in your mind. Don't say anything else. 
and you have to do this seven times. How many times? <coughs> Minimum of seven times at a stretch you need to do. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Okay. And you have to close your eyes. Is it clear? Shall we do it now for 30 seconds? Yes. Okay. Let us do it for three to four times. I am just making you to understand because of the lack of time. We will do it only for three times. Okay. But you have to do it very very slowly. As soon as you inhale, hold it for six seconds there. Then I say, and if there are any hypertensive patients, those are having blood pressure, you should inhale. Do not hold it immediately. Exhale. Is it clear? Okay. So close your eyes. Legs flat on the floor. Hands on your thigh. And close your eyes. Tongue touching the upper side. And take a deep breath. So as you inhale, say in your mind, "I am supplying blood and oxygen to my brain." to energize the neurons do it as slowly as possible so many distractions might come don't get upset let it come it will go on its own just focus on your breath and say in your mind i am supplying blood and oxygen to my brain to energize the neurons and as you exhale say relax 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 again continue I have demonstrated. I have told you how to hold your hands. And some did not understand. Okay. Keep it on your thigh. Okay. Take a deep breath and close your eyes. As you inhale, say in your mind, "I am supplying blood and oxygen to my brain to energize the neurons." <coughs> and as you exhale, just stay relaxed. One more time, you do slowly, <coughs> slowly. <coughs> My dear friends at the back, listen slowly. Do it, do it. It's for you to learn some new skills. Now, let the eyes be closed. Let the eyes be closed. Don't open. You rub your hands against each other. Rub your palms against each other. Generate heat as much as possible. This is the art way. Okay. Once it gets heated up, then place it on your eyes and face, and then slowly open your eyes. Okay. Now, this, if you want to enjoy the benefit of this activity, minimum of seven times you have to do it, and every hour you do it till you get adjusted to that. Whenever you are traveling, you do it. But whenever you are walking, don't do it because you are supposed to close your eyes. Whenever you are driving, don't do it. Breathing you can do, and breathing you are doing it. But here it is the focus to breathing by superposing the thoughts. These thoughts, when mixed with the breath, that is making it more powerful. Okay? And one thing I will tell you: whatever you say, your mind will say yes. And your mind is your best servant. It will obey your instructions with some activity. I will demonstrate this and do it. Otherwise, you will not believe it. Okay? Yes. So this is called as an executive meditation, which is used to energize, energize the neurons of the brain. Now, next time, whenever you feel something tired or sad, don't drink glucose. This is sufficient. This is much, much, much powerful than the glucose that you drink because you have a very, very powerful tool that is your brain <coughs> and your mind too, which is making it extremely powerful with this breathing exercise. Oh, now you see how to activate your brain in another method. Now we have the left brain as well as the right. Brain. Left brain governs the right part of your body, and right part of the brain governs the left part of your body. Okay, so we need to activate both parts of our brain effectively. How to do that? When we were small, our teachers used to give punishment by doing what they call buskies. Now, are you giving any punishment of that sort? Our teachers can't give that, right? 
they will be put behind the bars. That is the situation today. So what you need to do is, you consider this as an exercise, not as a punishment. Teachers were doing that, not as a punishment. With the name of the punishment, they were activating your brain, but they did not tell that. Therefore, you were reluctant to do that first. This is the science behind it. So what you have to do is, you have to press your ear lobes. First you press this. Press it hard, hard and hard for 10 seconds. Then leave it. Then press another one for 10 seconds. Press it hard, not simply touch it. You to press it. Okay? Then leave it. Again do this. Again leave it. Again do this. So this around 5 to 6 times you have to do. This is another way to activate both parts of your brain. First one is the breathing exercise. Second one is this pressing alternate ear lobes. Okay? So these two methods will make the brain, will energize the brain. You understood both the methods? You understood these two methods? Yes. Any doubts? No. Okay. Now, conquer yourself. There was a saying, it is better to conquer yourself than to win thousands of battles. This is a statement by Gautama Buddha. He says, winning thousands of battles will not give you happiness. What gives you happiness is when you win over yourself, when you are able to have a control over yourself, that is the real happiness that you are going to get. And unleash the power within you, when Allah has created us, He has given to each and every one of us a supreme power. It is within us. So we have to believe in the powers given by Allah and start working. Everything depends on the faith. And redesign your destiny. Today you will learn many new tools, many new techniques. Today full day is like an educative session for you. So with all this, you will definitely able to redesign your destiny. How many of you have goals in your life? Raise your hands. How many of you have goals in your life? What you want to do in your life? Maybe next year what you want to do? After three years where you want to see yourself? After five years where you want to see yourself? After ten years where you want to see yourself? That goal you should create now. If you have not done it, do it today. Okay. Now many students raise their hands. I congratulate you all. And now the second question is, how many of you have written down your goals? How many of you have written down your goals? Well, maybe only one I guess. Only one, you see. There is a difference between having the goals and writing the goals. Having the goals is only in your mind. But if you are not writing it, then there is no commitment. Today your goal will be something, tomorrow the goal will change, day after tomorrow the goal will change, next month the goal will again change. It keeps on changing because there is no commitment. <coughs> so what you need to do is, after setting the goals, you have to write your goals and paste it in your room. If you feel that no one should see, paste it inside the book. That makes a difference. So how many of you are ready to write your goals by today itself? Tomorrow will not come today itself. What you want to do? Today evening after going home you have to do it. Don't wait for tomorrow. Okay, don't think that January let it go. February first time will start. February first comes, then you will say February, you don't want. February only 28 days or 29 days, don't want. 30 days or 31 days where I will start. You will never start. So, if you want to do something different, do it or start it when? Today itself. Okay? Yeah. Now, the treasure house is within you only and there is a lot of uh, unlimited power within your mind. I will give you only one or two examples here. You look at this building. What is this? Where is it? What is the height of this building? 828 meters. It's not an easy task to build or construct a building of 828 meter. The architect of this is William F. Baker. Did he directly start constructing the building? No. 
or did he start directly drawing the building? No. This building had three forms. How many forms? Three forms. First form of this building was created in his mind. Where is it created? In his mind. How was it? If you want to do something different, something creative, you should wake up early in the morning, 4 o'clock or 4 30. That is the right time to wake up. And we have a lot of things to do after waking up. What do you have to do? What is the first thing that you do? After finishing your brushing up and all evolution, then what do you have to do? Yes. What do you have to do? What namas? What? 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 Then what do you do? Make to a read Pura. How many of you will make a commitment to yourself from tomorrow on? I will wake up at least by 4.30. How many of you are there to? What is that? Make a commitment to yourself. Nobody will force you. It is only for you. If you look at the history of all the successful people, two things you will find in common in all of them. One is, they all will wake up very early, 4 to 4 30. And they all read a lot and lot of books. So, this is the secret of success actually. Okay. Now, first was created in his mind. Only he can see. Now, for example, I just give one example. How many of you have a dream to construct your own house? Okay, now you just close your eyes and imagine what type of house, what should be the shape, what should be the structure of that house. Can you just imagine? Yes. Can you see the picture? Yes. Can you see the picture? Uh, that is the first stage of the house. He was able to visualize this in his mind. So, first stage of the building is not constructed here. The first stage of the building is constructed where? In his mind. We call this as subtlest state. Or in Kannada or Malayalam you say Ati Sushma Rupam. Which Rupam? Ati Sushma Rupam. This building is Ati Sushma Rupam. So, that is the first stage. Is it clear? Yes. Now, you visualize the picture of the house. What you visualize, you can see? No. What is there in our mind, can you see? No. Suppose you want to show this to others, what you have to do? You have to draw. Or with the help of the laptop or computer, you will have to structure it, you have to do it. Now others can see. This is the second stage of the building, when others can see. Where is the first stage? Mind. Mind. Second stage, either in the paper if you are drawing, or in the laptop if you are doing the animation. This is the second stage. It is called as Sushma Rupam. Or in English you call it as subtle state. First one is the subtlest. Or in Kannada? First one. Ati Sushma. Second one in English, subtle. In Kannada? Sushma. First one, Ati Sushma. Ati Sushma Manasal. Where are you going to do Where are you going to do it? Where are you going to do it? What is that second stage called? Sushma Rupa. If the Yerada Adha Nantara Olva, you will take construct mark in the start model. Third stage started from here, the construction, actual construction. Once the building is completed, the third stage is over. This is called as physical stage or in Kannada you call it as Stula Rupa. So, yes to Rupa with the building here. Yavdala, first one. Ati Sushma Rupa. Ilya do. Brainal yalla, illi. Mindal. Second one illi. Sushma Rupam. Illi yalla. Paper or computer. Pull the work in time to the. More than stage illi. Idu building complete aga manta. So how many stages quickly? First three. First one? Ati Sushma. Second? Sushma. Third one? Stool. Stool aga. Physical form. Is it clear? Ati Sushma Rupam. Sushma Rupam. Stool aga. Clear aitha? Clear aitha? अधिक ये देखना नियो ये लोग गोल्स दिन के उठता अतो निम्मा मनसल लिट दे आगे यार वो कौन लिट दे आती सोच अतन वो ये लिट कर बैठे नेक्स्ट टर्म सोच अतो क्या मार बैठो बड़ी बैठो कौन तो हेली तो देख अतो बर्तन अंतर ये लोग पुटी नीटो एक्शन देन ओनली द थर्ड स्टेज विल बी कंप्लीट तो फर्स्ट � 
because of the lack of time, I am asking you to do it at home. Okay. Look at this example. Here we go. Exceed 4000. The height of this proposed building is 4000 meter. And the rest of kilometer? 4 kilometer. Any? Ah. This is the first stage. Which stage? First or second or third? Second. 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 Why you call it as second? You are able to see the picture at least. Hello. This picture is not. I am not here. This is Japan. I am building. Borrow lakshan on to. Is two kilometer height. Do. Ah. Again, you picture not. I am not stage. I am not here. First. Now you are able to see this. And maybe after few years we will be able to complete the, we will be able to see it in the third stage. Look at this. Who are these two people? Bright brothers. Orival Bright and Wilbur. What are they actually? Aeronautical engineers are those. Enkel Samarthi Dhaaru. What were they doing actually? They were bicycle repairers. En Marthi Dhaaru? Cycle repair Marthi Dhaaru. So one day, they started dreaming that they are creating a flight and all human beings are traveling in it or flying in it. Wings motor fix tire fix then they started telling this to their friends. We are going to create a flight. Nobody believed. They all humiliated them, insulted them. The government threatened them. Don't fool our citizens. And everyone started calling them as lying brothers. Sullu Helva Sahodarabu. Any do? But did they give up? Did they give up? No. Why? First stage and second stage already are Madhya Gittu. And they believed in it. Now what is remaining is only put it into action. And they started working on it. They never lost hope. And you see, this is the first flight that they created. Other than scooter tire, aluminium pieces, flywood pieces. Then all the first to create Madhya the flight. It was success. When everyone said lying brothers, when government threatened them, did they give up? No. no. Because they firmly believed that it is possible for them. Because first and the second stage they had created. Only third stage was pending. That they did it. And today we are calling them as bright brothers. Earlier they were known as lying brothers. See, from lying brothers to bright brothers. They all did it. Same way, when you have a goal, and when you share it with others, 90% of them will discredit you. Including your teachers, sometimes parents also will discredit you. Your friends also will discredit you. But if you are very firm in it, if you are following the scientific steps of goal setting, first thinking, Ati Sushma, then Sushma, you have to write a detailed action plan. If you complete these two, then success will be 100% guaranteed for you. So don't lose hope when someone kills, insults you. When someone says it is not possible, you are wasting your time. Don't lose hope. You got the message? Yes, yes or no? Yes. You see, best of the best cars. All this follow the same three-step principle. What is that? First one? Then the design of it, picture of it. What is that? Sushma. Then construction started. Car manufacturing started. Which one? Which one? Stula. So Ati Sushma, Sushma, Stula. Understood? Have you heard about this man? Nick Kujisik? Have you heard? Today itself you have to go to YouTube and type. I have no time to show the video of it. Nick Kujisik. I hope you are noting now because there will be a quiz also. Yes, sir has already informed you. So be, be, what is that? Focused. You know, he has no hands and no legs. 
ಎರಡು ಕೈಯೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು ಕಾಲು ಇಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ದಿವಸ ಇವರ ತಂದೆ ಇವರನ್ನು ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಕಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಈವಿನಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಡ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಡ್ಯಾಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವೈ ಮೈ ಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ನೋಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಿ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಮಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಹು ಸೆಟ್ to whom to his father so his father said okay my son no problem i'll give you two options option number 1 thinking of your physical disability you commit suicide get out of this world i will not bother that is option number 1 who is saying father is telling his son you commit suicide no problem but he gave him a second option to he said with this physical disability you can prove to this world that you can also become successful in life which option he has chosen second. option number 2 a motivational speaker authored so many books you should see his video in order to get inspired it is not the physical body which is powerful it is the mind which is extremely powerful he has used the power of the mind and he says that in the interview it is the power of the mind and the blessings of the almighty that has made me to be what i am today look at this jessica cox what is she doing she is a pilot not for the sake of photography she is a licensed pilot but what is the specialty she has no hands she has no hands only with her legs again not only that she is a black belt in karate making use of only the legs competing with the normal people see power is not in the body where is the power hidden mind. within the mind look at this smart english you see he doesn't have legs but his dream was to become a mountaineer when he was small both of his legs were amputated for some purpose because of some illness that he was suffering from but his aim was to become a mountaineer he did not give up with this artificial legs he was able to achieve his goals oscar pictures you might have heard, heard about him he is called as blade runner both legs are not there you see only till here this is artificial blades but his aim was to become a athlete champion in it and he became so everything is in your mind everything is there all the powers are hidden in your mind you have to start using it start believing in the powers that allah has given us definitely you will be successful in your life now let us see what experts say about human mind he says this is dr joseph mar he says you can bring into your life more power more wealth more health more happiness how by learning to contact and release the hidden power of your subconscious mind there is a book called as the power of your subconscious mind i request everyone to read it once book is not costly maybe 100 to 200 rupees you will get it online also you will get it okay the power of your subconscious mind authored by dr joseph mar so he says all powers are hidden in subconscious mind what is subconscious i will tell you Professor William James says there is a law in psychology that if you form a picture in your mind of what you would like to be and keep and hold that picture there for long enough, you will soon become exactly as you have been thinking. So, what do you want to become? First, you should have a goal and you picture and say, hold it in your mind, close your eyes and see what you want to become. You should see the picture, you should visualize and keep that picture there for long enough. where is going you will become the same thing what you are able to create picture of your mind <laughs> albert einstein said the value of a college education is not the learning of many facts but the training of the mind to think ultimately the saddest part in the education system is training of the mind is lacking now you are how many of you are in uh, uh, qc <coughs> raise your hand how many of you are in degree How many of you are in high school, 8th to 10th? Okay. 
you were in this education field or you have studied for so many years have you learned about the human mind have you learned about human mind what is conscious mind what is subconscious mind how the mind works have you heard have you studied yes huh? where you studied uh, one star mark except the psychology nobody else will study this that is the science so this is what is required albert einstein said long back long back still the concept of human mind is not yet included it can be included in the high school level itself so we have a mission to go to different institutes and create awareness of the power hidden in them that is to talk to them about the powers of the human mind from what the book says the mind once expanded to the dimensions of larger ideas never returns to its original size so what he says is when you start thinking bigger and bigger the mind expands it the mind expands and once it expands it will never come back now for example you take the rubber band when you stretch it it stretch but when you leave it it comes back to the original position but what about clay ave banu nodidira neevu stretch maadi ikka stretch aagutade hinde bartada neevu kai gedira illa alli irutte so our mind is like that it remains there alfred a montepart he says to accomplish great things we must first dream and then visualize they are the sukshma rup then plan <laughs> planning what is planning sukshma rup what is then believe and act you will get it into third stage what is that third stage stool rup say and they are the sukshma sukshma stool now coming to what is human mind nobody has seen human mind likewise have you seen electrons who has seen electron no one electronics we have you are seeing what is this, this is electronic media only isn't it so without seeing electron so much of advancement has happened in the field of electronics <coughs> so without seeing our human mind so many miracles we can do okay so it is like a source of energy in our body like electricity that's all is the human mind there is no picture for human mind only for the brain there is there is a difference between brain and mind brain is like a hardware and mind is like a software in the laptop what you can see on the outer side is a hardware but inside there are so many programs which are not visible so that is the software so brain is like a hardware and mind is like a software coming to the types of mind see this is the head here i have just uh, animated what is this picture can you tell me this is an iceberg and this is the water level what you can see outside the water level is only a small portion maybe about 10% remaining 90% is within so same way we have conscious mind and subconscious mind conscious mind has only 10% of the powers and subconscious has 90% so which is more powerful how to use the subconscious that no one has taught us there are different ways to communicate to the subconscious mind maybe one simple one i will teach you today other things may not be possible at this time so what are the differences between the conscious and the subconscious one is 10% power about 90% approximate works when we are awake and works 24 hours so subconscious will sleep when you go to sleep in the bed conscious mind will sleep but subconscious will no, no. never sleep so what is the difference two differences i told you uh, one is less power conscious more power another one conscious works when we are awake subconscious works when we are asleep like that there are so many other differences also but we will see the application part of it now you see this is a ship. who is the most powerful person in the ship who gives orders yeah who follows the orders who follows the orders these people we can consider them like a crew members so you compare your body to the ship okay your conscious mind you compare with the who is this captain and subconscious is like these crew members whatever the captain orders 
can the crew member say not possible no. even if the captain gives wrong orders crew members are supposed to follow it whatever captain says crew members will say yes can the crew members say no no not possible so in the same way whatever the conscious mind orders the subconscious will always say yes subconscious knows only to say yes that you understand clearly so what your subconscious knows only to say yes, yes. only to say yes okay see our mind is like a garden when you plant mango seeds will you get coconut When you plant banana, will you get mango? No. No. What you are planting, the same will be result. Yeah. So if you plant positive thoughts, you will get positive results. If you have, if you plant what? Negative, negative thoughts, you will be getting negative. negative results. Sometimes you plant positive thoughts, but you are not confident. You have a doubt. Then doubt is like a minus. So plus into minus will become what? Minus. minus. There should not be any doubt. What you do, do it for me. Then the results will definitely be positive. Okay. Now I will come to one important aspect. Listen to this very, very, very carefully. This is about auto suggestion. <laughs> And I request the organizers. I want the three armless chairs here. Plastic chairs is also fine. Or this type of chairs are also fine. Three chairs I want here. One is already there. Two more. Two more chairs I need. One is existing two for one activity. Okay. Now I am coming to this auto suggestion. Now listen to this very very carefully. Okay. Very very important. You get instant results here, with which you can make the subjects easier also. Now many said mathematics is difficult, right? Science is difficult. Now let us see how to make it easy by just changing the mindset. Okay. Now what is this auto suggestion? Every statement that we say is like an auto suggestion to our mind. Whatever we say, our mind says yes. Mind means I refer to the subconscious. <coughs> okay? I'll give you some examples. Don't you say I am tired? Have you said I am tired at some point of time? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. What your mind will say? Yes. yes. When you say I am tired, your subconscious will say yes, and it makes you more tired. When you say I am sick, your subconscious will say yes, and it will make you more sick. When you are sad, when you say I am sad, what your subconscious will say yes, yes. and it makes you worse. I am not good in communication. I am not good looking. I am not rich. Nobody appreciates me. People take advantage of me. I am struggling for a living. I cannot afford it. I cannot do this. I am not good in my profession. The subject is very difficult to understand. Problems are very difficult to solve. These are some of the words that we normally mention, knowing you are annoying. But one thing you should remember from now on: whatever you say, your subconscious knows only to say yes. <coughs> When you say mathematics is difficult. subconscious will say yes because subconscious knows only to say yes. yes you may say it for fun but subconscious will believe even that subconscious will not understand the joke whatever you say subconscious will believe and it gets the things done to you these are all the negative statements that i have given you as examples now look at exactly opposite words earlier i mentioned i am tired now i am explaining you about limitless these words are called the limiting 